Imagine driving on a bumpy road. The car jolts and shakes as it moves over uneven surfaces, making the ride a bit uncomfortable. Turbulence is like that, but for airplanes. When you're flying, the plane can experience similar jolts and shakes. It's caused by changes in the air's speed and direction. These changes create varying wind currents that the airplane flies through. Think of it as invisible air pockets that can make the plane shake. These pockets of air can vary in intensity, sometimes causing mild bumps and other times more noticeable shakes. Turbulence is a normal part of flying. It's rarely dangerous. Most of the time, it's just a minor inconvenience that passengers feel during the flight. Modern airplanes are designed to handle even severe turbulence. The wings and structure of the plane are built to withstand the forces of turbulent air. Pilots are highly trained to deal with turbulence. They undergo rigorous training to ensure they can manage the aircraft safely in all conditions. They use weather radar and communicate with each other to avoid rough patches whenever possible. By monitoring weather patterns and staying in constant contact with air traffic control, pilots can often navigate around the worst turbulence. Passengers are also advised to keep their seat belts fastened while seated as a precaution against unexpected turbulence. Flight attendants will often remind passengers of this safety measure during the flight. While turbulence can be unsettling, it's important to remember that it's a common occurrence and part of the flying experience. Most flights encounter some level of turbulence, but it usually lasts only a short time. So next time you feel the plane shake, know that it's just the aircraft navigating through the skies, and soon enough, you'll be back to a smooth and steady flight. Safe travels. There are different types of turbulence. Convective turbulence is caused by rising warm air, like on a hot summer day. You experience this as bumpy updrafts and downdrafts. Mechanical turbulence happens when air flows over obstacles like mountains. Picture wind hitting a tall building and swirling around it. Another type is clear air turbulence, which is harder to predict. It occurs in clear skies and is often associated with jet streams, fast moving air currents high in the atmosphere. Aircraft are incredibly strong. They are designed to withstand forces far greater than any turbulence you'll likely experience. Think of a plane's wings like flexible springs. They can bend and flex to absorb the bumps and keep the plane stable. Pilots undergo rigorous training in flight simulators that mimic severe turbulence. They know how to handle the aircraft in these situations. The best way to stay safe during turbulence is to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you're seated. This prevents you from being tossed around. Listen to the flight attendants. They are trained to keep you safe and will provide instructions during turbulence. If you feel anxious, try to focus on your breathing or distract yourself with a book, music, or a movie. Section five, location, 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 turbulence hotspots around the world. Turbulence is a common phenomenon that can make flights uncomfortable and sometimes even a bit scary. But did you know that certain parts of the world are more prone to turbulence than others? In this section, we will explore these turbulence hotspots and understand why they are more susceptible to bumpy flights. Some parts of the world are more prone to turbulence than others. Mountainous regions, areas near the equator and the North Atlantic are known for bumpier flights. Mountainous regions, for instance, are notorious for causing turbulence. The air currents are disrupted by the high peaks and valleys, creating a rough ride for airplanes flying over these areas. The Rocky Mountains in North America, the Andes in South America, and the Himalayas in Asia are some of the most well-known turbulence hotspots. The North Atlantic is another area where turbulence is common. This region is known for its strong jet streams and unpredictable weather patterns, which can make flights particularly bumpy. Pilots flying over the North Atlantic often have to navigate through these challenging conditions, making it one of the most turbulent airspaces in the world. Flying over large bodies of water can also be turbulent, especially during certain seasons. The vast expanse of water can create unique weather patterns that contribute to turbulence. For example, the Pacific Ocean is known for its typhoons and the Atlantic Ocean for its hurricanes, both of which can cause significant turbulence for flights passing through these areas. This is because of temperature differences between the air and water. When warm air from the land meets the cooler air over the ocean, it can create unstable air currents, leading to turbulence. This is particularly common during the transition between seasons, such as spring and fall, when temperature differences are more pronounced. Keep in mind that turbulence can occur anywhere, 
any time. While certain areas are more prone to turbulence, it is important to remember that it can happen anywhere in the world. Factors such as weather conditions, air traffic, and even the time of day can all contribute to turbulence. Pilots are trained to handle these situations and ensure the safety of passengers, so there is no need to worry. It's just more common in certain areas. Understanding where turbulence is more likely to occur can help you be better prepared for your next flight. Whether you are flying over mountainous regions, crossing the North Atlantic, or traveling over large bodies of water, knowing what to expect can make your journey more comfortable. So the next time you experience turbulence, remember that it is a normal part of flying and that you are in safe hands. Section 6. Mind over matter. Tips for a calm and collected flight. Turbulence is often more uncomfortable than dangerous. Try to relax and remember that it's a normal part of flying. Focus on your breathing. Take slow, deep breaths to help calm your nerves. This can help reduce anxiety and make the experience more bearable. Distract yourself. Read a book, listen to music, watch a movie, or engage in a conversation to take your mind off the bumps. Section 7. The Seat Selection Strategy Choosing Your Spot for a Smoother Ride When it comes to air travel, the seat you choose can significantly impact the comfort of your journey, especially when it comes to turbulence. If you're concerned about turbulence, consider choosing a seat over the wings. This area of the plane is structurally more stable, as the wings are designed to support the aircraft's weight and balance. This area of the plane tends to experience less motion. The wings act as a pivot point, reducing the up and down movement that can cause discomfort during turbulence. You'll find that the ride is generally smoother here, making it a preferred choice for those who are sensitive to motion. Seats in the front of the plane are also generally smoother than those in the back. The front section is less affected by the flexing and bending of the aircraft during flight. This is why first class and business class seats are often located here, offering a more stable and comfortable experience. This is because the tail of the plane tends to move more. The rear section experiences more pronounced movements, especially during turbulence, as it is farther from the plane's center of gravity. This can make the ride bumpier and less comfortable for passengers seated in the back. However, any seat on the plane is safe during turbulence. Modern aircraft are designed to withstand significant turbulence, and the safety measures in place ensure that all passengers are protected. The key is to remain calm and follow the crew's instructions. The most important thing is to keep your seatbelt fastened. This simple action can prevent injuries during unexpected turbulence. Always pay attention to the seatbelt sign and fasten your seatbelt whenever it is illuminated. Even when the sign is off, it's a good idea to keep your seatbelt loosely fastened while seated. Additionally, familiarize yourself with the safety procedures outlined by the flight attendants. Knowing what to do in case of an emergency can provide peace of mind and ensure a safer flight experience. Ultimately, choosing the right seat can enhance your overall travel experience. Whether you prefer the stability of the wings or the tranquility of the front section, making an informed decision can lead to a more enjoyable and comfortable flight. So next time you book a flight, take a moment to consider your seat selection. A little planning can go a long way in ensuring a smoother ride and a more pleasant journey. Safe travels. Section 8. Breathe in, breathe out. Relaxation techniques for a turbulent flight. Practice deep breathing exercises before and during your flight. Inhale slowly through your nose, hold for a few seconds, and exhale slowly through your mouth. Engage in visualization techniques. Imagine yourself in a calm and peaceful place. This can help reduce anxiety and promote relaxation. Listen to calming music or nature sounds. Use headphones to create a soothing auditory environment and block out any distracting noises. Section 9, Turbulence versus Danger, Understanding the Difference. It's important to remember that turbulence, while uncomfortable, is rarely dangerous. Modern aircraft are built to withstand extreme forces. Pilots are highly trained to handle turbulence. They use weather radar and communication systems to avoid rough patches whenever possible. Turbulence is a normal part of flying. It's similar to driving over bumps in the road. It's not a sign that the plane is in danger. Section 10, Soaring Above the Fear, Embracing the Journey. 
Flying is the safest mode of transportation. Airlines and pilots prioritize safety above all else. Turbulence is a natural part of the flying experience. By understanding what causes it and how to manage your anxiety, you can fly with greater confidence. So buckle up, relax, and enjoy the journey.